Might have been Hudson Swafford, that. You are? Hudson Swafford. Is that what we're? I think, and he's uh, live. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, joining us at White Heron, Orlando, Florida. Pleasure to well, be here, isn't it? A bit of a pleasure. We are going to be playing, though, off PGA Black Tees. We're going to have a free old match. Long way, these boys, aren't we? We've been out Long here. We've way. played 18 already. Letting us back out. So thanks, um, you know, White Heron, for accommodating us today. It's been We've really enjoyed it, haven't we, actually? Mate, it's good out here. And there's a lot of floating logs about, isn't there? some big gators around here. Yeah, there's some big gators. They've just relayed the greens, which are rolling really well. The best ones we've played on yet. We've just been saying that they relayed the full set of greens, but they weren't finished relaying until the end of December. Yeah. So that's like two weeks. Just while we're on, on facilities, wow. I think the two best facilities we've been out so far in Orlando has been, I think, Grand Vista for practice. Yeah, Grand Vista was great. Unbelievable. If you want to do a bit of practice, guy, you're not worried about obviously playing. I mean, they have got a 9 0, but we didn't go on it, did we? Not yet. But as far we're as. We're going to bring, I think we'll do that later in the week, aren't we? Yeah, as far as 18 0, this is the best one we've played so far and very, very friendly. Manager's been out, had a chat with us and seems a nice guy, so. We're going to try and take you down, though, now. No more friendliness. Out. We've got an absolute beast of a first hole. I mean, this is a Do joke of a tee it? shot. Yeah, I'm looking It's an it. absolute horror tee shot, guys. Right, when you're ready then. There's so, a lot of water there. How far is this? To carry water, you've got about 250 yards. Killer. Absolute and killer. You're going to be out to the right a little bit. Take that one up the right side, I reckon. Yeah. Well, he's gone safe. He's made it a long goal from up there. Ultra safe, that. He's gone ultra safe. It's fine, it's not in the water. Just not in the water. Just to give us an hold on that. Yeah, yeah. Are they playing Tet at first? Possibly. El Tiger Ruski line that. Do you reckon it's cleared it? I think there's a chance. Well, I haven't seen a splash. Sometimes out in Florida, you just do not have a choice but to go over the water. And uh, it's really making me a driver this week. I started off hitting some bad ones, but my driving certainly come back just through. Got 187 into a hole. Hitting them. 187. That's where Sam's just come from, so he's bailed out a little bit to the right. <laughs> Probably playing about 220. Nice friendly opening hole, buddy. <sighs> Not nice, this. I don't even know if this will get there. It's a good strike. Bunker greenside. Greenside bunker left. Oh, already. Trouble. One of the things we have been practicing out here this week is pitching. I've done a, a tutorial recently because this turf, if you get slightly steep, you, know, you get a lot of digging. So one of the things I'm working on is keeping plenty of width and making sure I don't lean my sternum in front of the ball. You've got to be really confident with these. Got 90 yards. Get up. Yeah, it's pin eye. And how firm are these surfaces? No. If this bunker practice has been paying off, guys. Yeah, we had half a day at Grand Vista. Ooh. Not bad. Chance of hole in it. Yeah, not an easy shot, that. The sand's really soft here, isn't it? Yeah, very. Right, I think I'll leave it in, Sam. You leaving it in? Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually, I've repaired my pitch mark, it's just released out a little bit. I've got a little bit of wind behind, which you probably can't see on camera. A 
what we have noticed, we've played 18 holes this day. If you have to come and play it, they don't break as much as they look like they're going to break. Everything rolls a lot straighter. So you haven't got to play too much break. Watch me miss bottom side now. <laughs> Lovely effort. Just the weight, weren't it, that kept it out. Lovely effort. That's good. It's a tricky one, this. A ten, big foot for the big foot. one. He's got it. Oh, well done. Good half. Bit of a scramble, mate, but you got the end. Big scramble. So just managed to keep the honour. And this is a long way, 653 yards, par five. I think 653 or 645, I can't remember, but it's a long way from it's home. It's a long way. Oh. It's safe, Sam. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's just one of these holes, you know, like UK, sometimes you'll see me hitting a free or a free iron on a par five to play safe, but you just can't do it out here, can you? No. We've said this all week, can't I we? I mean, what's that carry, 245? Yeah. But everything in America is just big. It doesn't matter what it is. Everything's big, Cars, yeah. food, golf courses. They're just like People are nice though, aren't they? Big. It's like, like in the UK where there's a lot of ignorance. Everyone seems to be really friendly, apart from when they pull a gun out. Yeah. Well, we've managed to not make that happen this week. You can't say that. Of course Fucking you hell. can. You can't, you'll upset people. Right. There's no time for fear, is there, at 645 yards? Long way, son. Long way. Get one like I did on first. Oh, struck it well, pulled it a bit. Up left side. Just needs to miss them bunkers. If he were big, he'd be going that way. But he's little. Oh, he's tiny. <laughs> he's not taking bait, is he? Yeah. He's playing safe. And, uh... Good strike. It's great positional play, that. Something back up the middle, isn't it? Yeah, that was the right shot. It's not an ideal place to be off tee. Got six signs, so I need to get it up there. How far do you reckon I've got left? Oh, uh, 360. To get clean contact. Stack that weight forward, grip down it a tad. And try and keep lent into it. Not bad. Definitely got the sand after the ball anyway. Let's get a rake. <coughs> Sam's about another 15, 20 yards up there. And I've got... 175 markers there, probably got 180, 185. Yeah, it's 170 into a slight breeze. Um, I'm going to go... I don't know whether to hit a five or not. I'd go the club more, definitely. I know. I just don't want to fly it, you know, like... Oh, I've got five in end. I don't hit it too hard as I'd like. Sit down. Just drawn it on the left side of the green, haven't you? Yeah. I think it's just short of the bunker. It's not good though, is it? Do you know what? I'm going to try and play seven. Seven, are you? Little 
a little high seven. This wind's hurting a touch, isn't it? Apparently it's snowing at a minute in the UK. Beats that. Oh, he's with me. Left he's side of Chinatown. Yeah. yeah. Long as well. Might be in the bunker that. The dry that we're chipping, aren't we? We need up and down. It's big to have a seven iron into a par five though, isn't it? You honestly couldn't write that. Have you seen how close they finished together? I like it, but I don't like it this much. It's like a chipping comp. Closest to the pin. Nearest pin. I think nearest pin wins it, probably. Oh, I like it. No. That were absolute perfect. Majestic, that. Absolutely majestic. Come and hold this, then. Come. You've got some thin... Uh, You've got some work to do here, Gaz. I know. Oh, that's good. How good oh. is that? Stop, stop, stop. I don't think it's quite as good as mine, though. I know, but under pressure. Not being big-headed. By the way, guys, look at that for a view. I'll tell you what, it didn't feel like a 645-yard hole, though, did it? Mate, have it drive a three wood seven iron? Well, I know, but I mean, yeah, I suppose. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> still going to win. I feel robbed. I feel absolutely robbed. <laughs> but I do think in that Pell's test, you know, and that afternoon we had a practice, we had six hours out there practicing short game. Yeah, it's long. It's got it? to help, hasn't it? You know, we never do that at home. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, certainly you can see with my shot, I mean, we've only seen one shot there, but to have that confidence to flop that up there, it just shows you what happens when you put a bit of time into your it's game. It's just percentage, isn't it? You know, how many times are you going to get up and down out of that position? Realistically, one in ten. Yeah. From that. That, but, that is but, as hard as it And gets. I've said this on the Pels test, it's that hard. You just have to adapt to being better. It's like the surfaces out here. They yeah. are like snooker tables. You're landing golf balls and it's just yeah. they're gone. It's it's tough. And especially off the tees that we're playing off. I, I'm a big you know, after doing that Pels test, it's the first time I've ever done it, right? If you've not seen the video, go and watch it because it's such a high bar. It's what the European tour players and all the tour players use, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But when you're failing to achieve them numbers, it make, somehow it just makes you perform better. It sets, you, it sets your standard higher. How many times do we accept like mediocrity? You're not even setting your standard higher. It's a, a wake-up call to think, not as good as I thought I was. Well, that's it. You know, you, you can You've ask people... You've got to take yourself criticism and go, right, ...about the game, and they can say, oh, my short game is good. I, well, I guarantee you do that Pels test and you might think differently. Listen, I, I've got a decent short game, and that rips me apart. Yeah. But, um, and it, and it'll, it, well, we're not going to get too much into it. I'll tag the video if you want to watch it. it it's really good for basically measured practice and highlighting weaknesses, isn't it? It's just going to keep your game sharp. Right, let's have a look at this beauty. I don't know. We're finishing with a par three here. We might play a few more roles. I don't know if we're going to get onto Sam's channel. If we are, you better post it. You need to I post that on the video. Mate, I know, but unfortunately, I've been absolutely dying. Right, this is not a. How far is it? 235. 235 par three. Into wind. Into wind. I've got three wood. <laughs> <laughs> Good chat. Oh, what a strike. I think he, I think as good as that strike is, it's short, isn't it? Mate, it's miles short. Caught, caught the sand. I don't know if it's splashed miles. out. I can't tell you how far that's playing. It, it, it's probably even driver. I'm going to go free iron. I've got to say, right, I played off black tees today, guys. You know, we've played... We, let's be honest with you, we played about six holes, didn't we? And we weren't enjoying it. We've done this challenge for a vlog. But what I would suggest is pick a set of tees relevant to how far you're at the ball. And, you know, this is probably out of our means, isn't it? 
It's hard. I think when we we moved on to whites, so you've got blues then whites. When we played off whites, we really enjoyed it. We just are you watching out for alligators or something? I, there was a big one on there earlier, wasn't there? I keep hearing something behind me. Well, you're right. It's not where it were, so where is it? <laughs> I am me up thinking, mmm, lunch. When you're from UK and you come to Florida, you know, we, we probably look a little bit nervous, but we are. I don't know how you guys in the US get comfortable out here. Oh, oh my golly. God. If there were ever a time to munch a free iron. Go. It's on. Running. Yep, it's it front quarter and it's running. Get in. He's just tried to play, is that GUR? <laughs> There's not a GUR side in sight. How are you going to play that one? Great difficulty. I'd be thinking a little free, would me? A little bump and run. You think? Well, if I were caddying, I shouldn't be giving you these tips, should I? But I'd be using a club that if it does slightly touch the floor, it's going to glide. Just get it bobbling, bumping it up there. Ooh, we didn't play it like I'd have played it, but it's working. Just needs to slow a bit. I'll tell you what, you've got to put, you've got to put in a chance. Could have done worse. It's not a good lie, that. Not a good lie. Come on then, let's get your white top on for putting out. I think it looks great. And, you know, <laughs> We can have a bit of banter. You know, you're quite big, and I think this clothing really suits you. Why is my channel called Big Sam Golf? It's because you're going to be big. a four-foot anorexic bloke, isn't but, it? But what I'm saying is some <laughs> clothes don't suit bigger people, but I think these do. These are great. I really like the hoodies as well. I think the fits are really good. I think you look great in this. You actually look like a PGA Tour Pro. Let's get the mic. Turn off the mic. You're probably already aware, guys, we're travelling with Eagle Golf. We're both ambassadors this year. Easy. So we've got all those new clothes on. I think that looks great, that sound. Yeah, it's tidy, isn't it? Oh, Gary, Gary, Gary. I've got to take my time here, because I know what you're like. What? You'll go and hold it if I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's when you get a chance to make a birdie, you don't want to be too complacent. Well, you're going to give me a line here, mm. which I'm quite fortunate with, and then hopefully... I've seen a spot. Oh, he's got it. I haven't oh. lost today. I haven't lost today. What an old to have a birdie on. Is that going to be That's next? got to be one of the toughest par threes I've played all year. Extra holes. Well, yeah, we'll go extra holes. We'll have a. Should we have a bit of a, a sudden death on your channel? Take it onto my channel. Guys, I'll tag Sam's channel and I will make sure he gets it posted. I'll make sure he's edited it and it's ready before mine goes out. Wow, it's a good job I hold that. Wow. <laughs> Guys, switch over to my channel. And I am going to take him down. <laughs> Not today. I'm playing too well. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one. Um, obviously, thanks to the guys here at White Heron for getting us out. Letting us have some extra rolls as well. You know, really good of you. We didn't want to film during playtime when we played as 18, so we didn't want to slow everyone down. But they'll let us come back out and obviously do a little bit of vlogging, which, you know, in this sunset, absolutely fantastic. And we've got this next stall, actually, is a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Stay around. Come over to Sam's channel and watch that. And uh, we've got plenty more content coming from Orlando, Florida. And I dare say we'll be here again, won't we? This is the first time in Florida and it is literally the capital of golf. I've never been to a, a place where there's so many golf resorts, destinations and stuff to do. We're just not going to we're just not gonna get it done, are we? So, guys, we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.